Thank you. I now call the member for Belimba for your question, please. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is of the Minister for Communities, Women and Youth, Minister for Child Safety and Minister for the Prevention of Domestic and Family Violence. Will the Minister update the House on how Members of Parliament can support local child protection and domestic violence prevention initiatives in their electorates and across Queensland? I call the Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I thank the member for the question and for her ongoing advocacy in tackling domestic and family violence. Last week in Narang, I visited the $2.1 million partnership between my department, Act for Kids, and the Domestic Violence Prevention Centre on the Gold Coast to improve responses to children and families who come to the attention of child safety. This integrated approach means we can start our hands-on work to support families at the moment they come to our attention. And this has been welcomed by staff and parents alike. And I also announced $1.1 million would be provided to Centre Care to run a mobile domestic and family violence support service on the Gold Coast. Again, this was warmly welcomed by DV services across the state. But what did the opposition have to say about these new initiatives? Well, members might recall in the last sitting I spoke about the negative Nancy of our parliament, the member for Madrubar, and I am disappointed to say that nothing has uh, changed. Thank you. Nothing much has changed, Mr Speaker. Um, I think that uh, reference to the member is inappropriate. Would you withdraw? I withdraw, Mr thank Speaker. You. The member for Madrubar couldn't even bring herself to welcome half a million dollars in additional funding for security upgrades for women escaping violence. The member for Madrubar talked down this initiative uh, that we were taking credit for a Commonwealth trial. Well, newsflash, member for Madrubar, that was new money from our government on top of Queen's um, Commonwealth funding for a trial. So, Mr Speaker, instead of encouraging women to reach out for help and access these services, uh, she is being critical of the services that are being funded by the Queensland Government, as usual, as usual. But, Mr Speaker, um, what has happened recently after the member for Madrubar's visits to child safety service centres is that staff have also had enough of her negative attitude. In an extraordinary move this week, Together has issued a media release on behalf of child safety officers. On behalf of... Yeah, with respect, Member from Majabar, no, I've already warned the Minister, she's already been warned under 253A, um, I'd urge you not to go there. I call the Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. On behalf of our hard-working child safety officers, who said, we are concerned that one minute the opposition is visiting a child safety office, seeking meetings and having photos with staff, and the next minute walking outside, standing with the media and saying mixed Mr. messages. Uh, pause the clock. Uh, yes, Member for Majabar, what's your point of order? Mr. Speaker, I rise on a point of order and I, I, I find her comments absolutely untrue and false. And I, would, I ask that they be withdrawn immediately. And offensive. Point of order. And offensive. I find the comments offensive. I would like them withdrawn. I'm happy to table the media release that I'm quoting from, Mr All Speaker. Right. All right, thank you. Uh, now, I understand the member has found some comments you've made personally offensive. I withdraw, Mr thank Speaker, you. but I will continue to read. No, 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 no. Thank you, members. For clarification, the minister will withdraw... I was Whatever the member found offensive and move on. Thank the you. The media release went on to say the crucial relationships between the department, clients and NGOs have a value beyond any measure and members are concerned that Ms Bates's comments have not been helpful in ensuring they can continue to be strengthened in their work. And I have tabled that release. But Mr Speaker... Pause the clock. One moment. Sorry, pause the clock. Member for Burley, you're warned under standing order 253A. I find your comments designed to talk over the top of the Minister. If you persist, I'll take the appropriate action. I call the Minister. But Mr Speaker, we can't be too hard on the Member for Madrubar. It is a special day for the Member for Madrubar. It is her birthday. And in a spirit of bipartisanship, I hope she reflects on her birthday and leaves her negative attitude behind. Mr Speaker. All right. All right, members, it's getting close. We've got 
I think one minute to go.